Okay. Our training popularity social experiment has given popular teens a chance to experience what life is like for their less popular peers. So, uh, before the break, we were talking about all the mean things I used to do, and some of the girls in the audience, and some not, just a little too scared, but I understand, uh, to, to say the things that they feel that you have done or said to hurt them. And I want to know, are there any things that you can think of that you've done in any of the girls? It's not just you. I mean, there's, these are girls up here that I feel probably caused some pain in, in some of the girls that aren't so popular. Anybody ready to volunteer just some things that they've done that they think they can do better? By no means is this like, Rrr! I mean, I held her hand through the whole thing. <laughs> so you have to know that this is not an attack. We're trying to, like, get better here. I have something to say. I'm popular, but I'm not mean. And Tamara's popular, but I've never seen her be mean. Never seen her be mean. Okay, I'm what sure you're doing now is you're 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 saying that. What I tried to explain to her is that there's an emotion, and you cannot say okay. that somebody feeling something is non-existent. It is somebody feeling something. Do you understand? We're not I'm not saying that you're bad. I just told the whole world, and I told these girls that I used to be that way. So you have to understand that this exists everywhere. It exists in office buildings. It exists on playgrounds. It exists in schools. It exists in elementary, junior, high school, colleges. This is life. But the reason why it is so important to get it early is because the people that are hurting from it, it can, it can create lifelong lasting impressions. And the more you say that it doesn't exist is the more that it makes me truly believe that it does. Do you have anything to say? Or any apologies or any anything? This is your chance. Um, I would like to say sorry to the people if I did hurt their feelings. Like, no, not if I did hurt their feelings. That's like saying, you know, okay, if you want me to say sorry, I'm going to say sorry. <laughs> you know, if I did something to upset you, yeah. then somebody apologized to me like that that mm -hmm. I worked with recently, and I said I don't accept that apology. Oh. If I made you feel, uh, no. It's a pure apology. Let's try again. Okay, um, if I, no, okay, I, 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 I just don't think that I'm a mean person. That's why it's kind of hard. Not a mean person. Like, I'm not a mean person either, mm -hmm. but I do mean things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We all do. They do mean things over here. This is not Angel. This is not Angelville and Devilville over here. Y'all ain't perfect. Y'all do things that hurt people. But that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about popular and unpopular. That's what we're focusing on right now. Not perfect people, imperfect people. That's not what we're talking about. Does that make sense? Yeah. You think you're perfect? No, no one's perfect. No. But I mean, I don't think it's all about popular and unpopular. Then what else is it about? I think it's about, really, I think it should be about, you know, teaching a lesson. I mean, just so you get an understanding. Because, you know, we're all going to the same school, same high school. And I'm, I think that just be clear and just said that we shouldn't have to go to school every day being judged or have a name said to us or, you know. No, and you shouldn't have to, but this is life. It is. And, and no, this is life. This is life. And you will leave this school and you will go to college. You guys will get jobs and it will continue to happen. So what we're trying to do is make change, but we're not going to be able to change the world and make it a perfect place. Yeah. Do you understand? So I'm, what I'm trying to do right now is to help you guys when you guys go back to school to make some change at your school so that you all can be ambassadors and you all can be ambassadors con to continue to make that change. Because this world will never be a place that unpopular and popular ends. It'll never be a place when in and out and cool and not. That will exist for the rest of our lives. But we can be above that and we can change that. And it takes, it takes the people in power to make change. I would like to say sorry um, for hurting anybody that may feel that I hurt them. But I would like an apology for you guys calling us plastic because we're really not like that. All right, let's start. Who wants to apologize for calling them plastics? All right, let's get it out. Hey. Let's start with Melissa. Well, we're sorry for calling you plastics on Monday. Like, we just wanted to know what it felt like for you guys to be us for a day. But we are truthfully sorry, and I hope you accept like each of our apologies. And I just hope we, from this experience, we get closer together. I like that. Is that accepted? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anybody else want to apologize? I don't think it's deserved to apologize to them. You don't think they deserve an apology? I really don't. Well, then that's like. And I that's where it know. stops. That's that's the problem. That is the problem. Like, let me explain something to you. I'm going to get racial right now. Oh, I'm going to okay. get racial. Okay? 
black and white. Okay, say there's some, <laughs> say there's some white people and say there's some black people. Okay, and the white people are saying all kind of racist stuff to the black people, racist, 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 and the black people start saying racist stuff back. Bam, 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 bam. You this, you this, you this, and then the mediator comes and says this needs to stop. Right? We all need to apologize for what we said. And the black people say, I ain't gonna apologize. I ain't gonna apologize. I'm black. I'm black. I don't need to apologize. I've had so much pain. Doesn't matter. Things were said. Negative things were still said. So just because somebody is maybe a more privileged group or a more majority of a group doesn't mean that the minorities <laughs> don't apologize. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, Does it? We gotta take a break. Y'all are difficult. <laughs> we'll be right back. Uh, we, we, get, we make a lot of headway on, on the Tyra show, and we, you know, there's a lot of change that can happen in an hour. Um, I, I would say that the change that's happened in this hour is minute. Um, I, I, I do applaud Melissa very much for making that apology. I think it's very big of you, especially somebody that has been persecuted and talked about, um, and that shows true beauty. That really is true beauty. That is... That is something that is so rare for somebody that has been persecuted to be able to give love. And I think we should give her um <laughs> Okay, so I'm giving a last chance for anybody to say anything. Anybody want to say anything? Uh-huh. You know, you, we're both girls, we're all girls here, and you know, y'all talk, talk about confidence and how you feel your confidence is what brought you to where you are today and your popularity where you are today, right? Yeah. Y'all all agree on that, right? Yep. Yes. We, fe we feel that our confidence brought us where we are today. We could have something in common. We can try to make something in common. We can try and be friends. But you know what? There's that border and there that, there's that wall. And it's like, we don't, you don't try and break down that wall so we're not going to try and put in our effort to break down that wall. So that wall is always going to be there. Because you guys understand you don't have the power to break down the wall. We need to be together. Do you together. understand? Yeah, we need to work you, together you to break down the wall. You don't have the power to break down the wall. In the hierarchy of life, in the hierarchy of high school, the popular girls have the power to break the wall down. But what needs to happen is, if they break that wall down, we need you guys to be there to accept apologies. We need you to be there to give apologies on the things that you guys are guilty of as well. But I apologize. I, I truly do apologize. If, you know, calling you plastics when we have called you plastics, if that truly hurts your feeling, I apologize. No, not if it truly hurt their okay. feelings. If it hurt your no, feelings, I apologize. No, I apologize. called you plastic and I apologize. I apologize for hurting your feelings. There we go. There we go. That's a real apology. You understand the difference? <laughs> So we're going to go to a commercial break. We'll be right back. I think it's, it's, it's evidently clear, beyond clear, crystal clear, that there was, um, there was no moment of, of what I wanted to happen, of these two sides to join and to try to figure out a way to coexist in a way of, of respect, of sincere um, collective apology, not individual apology. Uh, and it's, it's sad. But it is a true, I think they're a true microcosm of our country, uh, the polarization, but the haves and the have-nots. And um, I find it really sad. And I, 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 I don't know what to say. Um, but it is very disheartening for me, and I'm sure a lot of you at home. If you want to sound off, sound off more about today's show, go to tyrashow.com and tell us what you think about it. And to me, this is a show that needed two hours, three hours, five hours. It needed definitely a lot more than an hour to break through. But um, I, the, the, what I want to leave you all with is that there's a lot of power. And there's a lot of power in being popular and a lot of power to make change, a lot of power to make people feel good about themselves. I'm a very popular person, and I don't use it in a negative way. I try to use it to uplift, to give people opportunities that they can never have in a million years, to um, spread beauty and love through women and self-esteem. And that's what I use with my popularity and my power. And to you girls, I want to say that 
and not in any disrespect to the popular girls, because a lot of popular people are very successful. A lot of popular kids are very successful in life. But there is a high statistic of the unpopular girls in school that are the CEOs, that are the leaders of businesses and companies, and are the best mothers and the strongest women of our nation. So it is important to know that you might not be hot and popping right now, but you haven't peaked yet. Certain people peak at different ages in their life, and you guys just haven't peaked yet, but it's coming, and it's going to be very sweet. We'll see you later.